Today's episode is about one of those topics that I wish I knew about 20 years ago. Today, we're gonna to talk about why it's important to listen before you speak. And really, it's about learning to listen before you speak. I don't think any of us were born natural listeners. It's something that we have to develop over time. But I've noticed that in today's society, there's way more people speaking than listening than ever before. Before I get into it, I just wanna take a moment and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, turn your notifications on. Hey, and if you see value in this episode, make sure you share it with your teammates. So. If you're ready to go, so am I. Let's get started. Why it's important to listen before you speak. Firstly, listening helps build better relationships. Who doesn't wanna have better relationships in their lives? The first and most obvious benefit of listening before we speak is that it's gonna help you with those relationships. When we listen to somebody, we show them that we respect them and we value their opinion and their thoughts. And in turn, it builds trust and strengthens our relationship with them. On the other hand, if we're quick to speak, and we don't listen to what others have to say, we risk coming across as dismissive and uninterested in their thoughts and opinions. This can damage relationships, and this can make other people feel disconnected from us. Hey, we've all been there. We've all been in a place where we've been waiting for somebody else to finish their sentence so we could hop in and give them our opinion. Unfortunately, this does not leave a great impression with the person that we're talking to. It has a more adverse effect than anything else that we could be doing. Secondly, listening helps us learn and grow. The second benefit of listening before we speak is that it helps us learn and develop growth. When we listen to others, we expose ourselves to new ideas, new perspectives, experiences that we may not have considered before. This can broaden our horizons and help us become more open-minded. Also, when we listen to others, we have the opportunity to learn from their experiences and their mistakes. This can help us avoid making those same mistakes and make better decisions in the future. That's so powerful. After all, life is all about learning and any opportunity that we can take to learn and grow, we should be all over that. Listening is a great and easy way to do that. Thirdly, listening can help us resolve conflicts. The third benefit of listening before we speak is that it can help us overcome day-to-day -day and business conflicts. In business and in life, it's just a matter of time before we end up in a situation where there's conflict. It's part of life, but there's ways to work through it quickly. When we listen to somebody who has a different perspective or opinion than ours, we have the opportunity to understand their point of view and find common ground. This can help us avoid misunderstanding and complex situations. Additionally, when we listen to somebody who is upset or angry, we show them that we care about their feelings and that we're willing to work towards a resolution so that we can help de-escalate the situation to create positive outcomes. How powerful is that? Think about that for a second. Think about how that alone would impact your business, would impact your life, your relationships. Just that one point. All right, my next point. The fourth benefit of listening before we speak is listening can improve our communication skills. When we listen to others, we become more aware of communication patterns and learn to communicate more effectively. For example, when we're listening, we're gonna become better at asking that person questions. We're gonna become better at paraphrasing what others have said, and we're gonna be better at responding back the feedback. These skills can help us become better communicators in all aspects of our lives, from professional relationships to professional settings. For me, listening has dramatically improved my communication skills. And if you think about it, communication skills are important to be a father, a brother, a husband, a business leader. The flip side of this is poor communication skills can tear down an environment and a situation way faster than it was built up. So how can we improve our listening skills? Now that we've discussed the benefits of listening before we speak, let's talk about how we can actually improve our listening skills. So take out your pen and paper. Here's some tips that I'm gonna give you that might help you. Firstly, pay attention. The first step to becoming a good listener is to pay attention. When somebody is speaking, try and focus on what they're saying and avoid distractions. This means putting away your phone, turning off the TV, and making eye contact with the speaker. Next is don't interrupt. Interrupting somebody while they're speaking could be disrespectful and it's gonna disrupt the flow of the conversation. Instead, wait for them to finish speaking before you respond with a comment and wait for an appropriate time to bring it up. Next, ask questions. Asking questions is a great way to show that you're listening and interested with what the speaker has to say. Ask open-ended questions to encourage the speaker to elaborate on their thoughts. Next, paraphrase. Paraphrasing what the speaker is saying is a great way to show that you're listening to ensure that you've actually understood the message. And what I mean by that is repeat back what they've said in your own words to make sure that you've understood the message correctly. Next is show empathy. When somebody is sharing their feelings or experiences, it's important to show empathy. This means acknowledging their emotions and showing that you care 
about their well-being. You can do this by making eye contact, using affirmation statements such as I understand or that sounds tough or I, I see what you're going through. Next is practice active listening. Active listening is a technique that involves fully engaging with the speaker and paying attention to both verbal and nonverbal cues. This is easier in person, but it can be learned online virtual over Zoom as well. But this means listening for tone of voice, facial expressions, body language. Try to put yourself in the speaker's shoes and imagine how they might be feeling. Next is reflect on your own biases. We all have biases and preconceptions that could influence how we perceive others. Reflecting on our own biases and prejudices can help us become a better listener and communicator and communicate more effectively. Try and approach every conversation with an open mind and be willing to challenge your assumptions. Guys, in conclusion, listening before we speak is an important skill. It can help build better relationships. You can learn and grow. It'll help resolve conflicts and improve overall communication skills in your life. So next time you find yourself in a conversation, make sure to take a moment to listen before you speak. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your team. My goal is to help build a community for us to grow and win together in this industry.